I really hate doing these videos twice, but sometimes you just screw up. Uh, this MPPT controller, this is the controller I've been using for most of the last span of this span of this van. It's 30 amps, which was fine when I had a couple of panels up there. But now I have five panels and it and it and it's posing a problem. Now I bought another uh charge controller. I think it would be 50 or maybe 60 amps. But it did not last long. It bombed out, and I had to put this one back. And I just had, didn't wasn't thinking about the fact that I'm still in the same condition I was before. I I probably have an under capacity solar controller for the uh, panels I have on top. So I finally got a chance to replace these, and I replaced it with uh, this over here. Uh, this is uh, I guess this is called a uh, Victron Energy. And it's a, a solar controller with no display. It is Bluetooth. And Bluetooth is handy for me because I'm a clock watcher by nature. And it's easier if you have to clock watch your clock in your hand. Because this is, uh, I'm taking this uh, video with my phone. Not with the, uh, not with the uh, Hero 7. Uh, be overkill in this small area. In any case, this is a MPPT 150 watts. And was not a big deal I, I didn't really show the process because i i did it during lunch at work i just grabbed this thing you know unscrewed and pulled the wires out and then just put them in here in the correct order it appears because it is functioning and um voila don't know if this made a big difference or not in my in my in the amount of power i'm getting off of my panels 90 percent or 80 percent chance no and I might have issues with the panel or with how it's connected, etc. I've got several new uh, MC4 setups that I can use. Uh, just going to pick one and go up there and just, uh, with a step ladder, go up there and just plop off what I've got on and plop on the new MC4 connector, see if that's an issue. My last, my very, very, very last straw, my last, my ultimate uh, endeavor would be to check the voltage on all of those panels and that will be a pain in the butt of major proportion so I really don't want to do that but I might have to in any case that's basically what I did today uh, this was a I think this one was like a hundred and a half this one is like a, I don't know was it almost 300 three, a little over 300 for this one so it is uh, more expensive it's a much you know, not quite twice the uh, capacity of this 30 amp I've had over here, the gray one I just showed you. But it, uh, but using the calculations that I've been finding online, this I believe is sufficient to cover those panels up there for the foreseeable future because I'm not adding any more panels. There's no room on my roof uh, for any more panels. I've got a little, a, a portable folding uh, set of panels back there, supposed to be about 100 and. 50 watts back there but that's just basically if i'm out somewhere where i can i can just roll out those things and hang them off the back or somehow i can get some light to it and then charge some of my auxiliary things around here in any case uh that's what i would quickly tell you uh i rewired my uh leds up here now these are just walmart brand specials these are the older ones i've got i got them from walmart and I just had to wire on a 12 volt plug and it's plugged over here. So that was a very simple thing to do. Over here is another one I got from Walmart. This is more recent uh, and they have a different way of doing it. I used the old way of doing it, but I could have just simply done it uh, the way they've got. And I will be doing the, the next one I get, next one I do. Um, and oh, here it is. This is the uh, this is the name of the product right now I've been using. Uh, this is the Easy Link. Now this is the most recent one. I haven't I put one of these up. Uh, I haven't wired them according to the specs they've got here. I'll try to follow their instructions instead of just botching together my own wire. I've gotten pretty good at that, so I decided I would give that a run. In any case, uh, I'm gonna take another look at this in the morning. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some sun. Uh, might not be for a few days, though. A friend of mine was telling me that the uh, the uh, forecast is for cold, and usually when it's cold in Texas, it's dark. And so, and the only time it's cold and the sun's out in Texas 
and bright is, is in January, February when it's just you know, in those rare occasions when it's bone chill and cold. Any case, just want to give you a quick run of that, and let me see if I can get out of here before this thing rolls over to six minutes. In any case, it's one of my update videos, uh, just showing this. And by the way, I've got some, uh, I've got some something down here. I'll show a quick view of it. These are biological tools because if you live in a van, there are occasions when you're going to need some assistance with waste. I'll talk about that later in one of the more distasteful segments of van life. I'll be, uh, I'll be going over in the near future. All right, uh, I'll talk to you later, and you have a wonderful day. And uh, who knows, I might have another video tomorrow. Probably the one with the uh, less savory parts of, uh, let's just say, human chemistry.